Hey, hey, everyone. Okay, so today we are going to talk all about repurposing. And I was so excited to come and talk to you guys all today. And the house was finally quiet with kids. So let's get to it. Today is going to be jam-packed, full of information about how to be able to get the most out of your content that you already have and repurposing it on Pinterest. So that's kind of twofold. But one of the things that I want to say is like, if you are someone that feels like you are saying the same thing over and over again, good. Keep doing it. Keep saying the same thing over and over again, but speak differently. Maybe you are someone who's like, well, I'm saying the same thing over and over again, but nobody's listening or nobody's purchasing. Maybe you're not saying it the way that they understand it. So say the same thing just with different words. That's repurposing. That's what we're going to talk about today. I am super excited to be able to give you some ideas to be able to one, create all the fresh content that Pinterest like thrives on right now and to work smarter not harder with the content you're already throwing out there right we don't need to take all the time and put in all the hours when we already have amazing content for those of you who don't know who i am i am a mom of a number of little kids now and so this is not my normal get up but this probably is going to be my normal get up here for the foreseeable future. So welcome to my momming corner of the area. I am a Pinterest strategist and I help high performing business owners and content creators just like you implement content growth plans, outsource your visibility and steadily grow your monthly revenue without tantrums over tech or trading your sleep for success, which is my absolute favorite thing of course, with littles running around, right? I do this using my signature Pintastic Growth to Greatness framework implemented through my course program, amplifier coaching packages, and rockstar done-for-you services. Without further ado, let's make Pinterest profitable for you. So let's dive right in, right? Let's talk about how you can take content that you already have and Make it so that it is eye stopping, um, scroll stopping, jaw dropping, whatever you want to say for different types of people, right? And so this is not only going to help you in terms of grabbing their attention, but it's also going to help you in terms of search results, right? Because then think about it, you're going to be saying it differently. It's the same concept. It's the same thing you're saying over and over again, but you're using different words. And so you can pick up on those different words in terms of search. So if we're thinking about this, you could be a blogger writing about, let's say, um, beauty, right? And so you have this new beauty line that, um, let's talk about lip. So you have lip color, lip tint, lipstick, gloss, things like that, right? And so you have a few different types of people who might be interested in that, right? So there's the people that are going out for a night out on the town. There's people who are doing YouTube videos or influencers that are in front of the camera all the time. There's people who just want to go out on date night, and then there's people who just want to make sure that they have a little bit on their lips so that they are not dried out or whatever, right, for health purposes and things like that. So just throwing that out there, that's a bunch of different type of people that you can speak to, right? So say we have this new awesome cherry blossom lip tint, okay? And it comes in a lipstick and it comes in a gloss. Now, you can talk to those people with different 
words, right? So you can talk to the people who want to go on a night out and maybe you say, hey, glam, like, and I laugh a little bit because that's like my coaching group, what we call is glam fam, but hey, glam gals, right? Or maybe you want to say date night out, like, hey, mama's out there. And then you can talk to each piece of that while saying the same thing. We have a new lip tint. And so it doesn't matter what the blog is about, what the content is about, you just change it a little bit. Maybe you are writing about cocktails. And so maybe you talk about the specific cocktail, you talk about hosting a holiday party, and maybe you talk about weddings, right? That's three different things that you can talk about. And so then you think about what appeals to each person, right? So nightlife, maybe glamming it up, maybe looking 100%, you know, dressing to the nines, things like that. If we're talking about a cocktail, maybe it's your next favorite cocktail. Maybe it's a holiday cocktail to surprise your friends at your next party, right? Maybe it's your signature cocktail for your wedding that everybody's going to love, right? Things like that. Each one is still talking about cocktails. Each one is still talking about lip tint, you know, but you're just making it relevant to what they would be searching for. And it's still that one piece of content. So when you're going through this, you want to think about how can I identify different ways to say this, right? So the first one is who is the potential audience, right? Because you can have multiple audiences for that one piece of content. And how do you want to identify or classify that audience and make sure that you know When you are classifying that audience, each step that's different for them, meaning like each characteristic, each demographic, psychographic, like all of the different things that make that person who they are, how are they different? And so when you've done that, then go back in and start asking yourself these questions to be able to help you kind of dig deeper into that identifying process, right? And so what is one way that you can engage a brand new audience that you're not reaching with how you're saying things? So if I'm talking to people who want new traffic, right? And that's who I've been speaking to, like you need to get on Pinterest so you can increase your traffic. Maybe a brand new audience is you need to get on Pinterest so you can increase the sales of your pocket product right? Because there's a lot of people out there that are doing the $27, $37, $47 product or webinar. And those people may not think about traffic, they may be thinking about those sales. And so that's a different type of way to still say you need to be on Pinterest for your pocket product, because it's a different keyword. So I'm going to appear and attract more unique audiences based on the words that I'm using. You want to, secondly, also think about how can you get your content in front of new people, but keeping it common enough where it's an everyday interest and relatable. And then are there any current trends, right? We've talked about this in other videos and I'll drop the link to the video where I went through it, but trends.pinterest.com is an amazing way to check out different ideas, right? I was literally just going through scheduling for a client and she teaches people how to build their Etsy store and make six, seven, eight figures from an Etsy shop, right? And one of the things that we've always done is we've focused on the key term Etsy, Etsy for business, Etsy for shopping, like Etsy store owner, like those are the words we've always used. But now when I went to trends.pinterest.com, literally this week, Etsy.com for business, Etsy.com store owners is the new trend. So it's like that one little change, that one little dot com in there made a huge difference for who's searching for her. 
And so now I can take content that we already have talking about Etsy and just flip the titles and flip the descriptions and keywords to focus on Etsy.com. The same thing goes for seasonal content, right? Or important events that might be happening. So how can you plan for those moments coming up? One of the things that we do for my done for you clients is we actually plan early and ahead for them. So we plan out 90 days in advance. We're not scheduling out 90 days in advance. We're planning to get ahead of those trends. We're planning to talk to them about what are the upcoming holidays, what are upcoming life events, what are upcoming promotions that they're going to have, right? And we plan on what is trending to be able to hit that now, right? Because everybody on Pinterest, not everybody, that is a generalized statement. A lot of people, a big portion of Pinterest users are planning ahead of time to be able to grab what they need in terms of information, sales, whatever it is, and have it ready when they need it. So that's just a few ways that you could take what you already have and turn it around and appeal it to different types of people, right? Then all you have to do is create different images for those audiences, right? So you can use new photos, different text on the image, different titles on the image. You can change out your descriptions. You can share to different boards, but you want to be specific, right? So make sure they're very, very unique. Don't take your image of something you sell in your Etsy shop, for example, right? And have it laid out three different ways because it's still a product shot. The title's still going to be the same. It's just the layout has just changed. Don't do that, right? What you can do is do a product shot, then maybe a text only shot. Then maybe instead of a product layout, you have someone using the product, or you have um, someone who gave a testimonial feedback of the product, right? So don't make the images look so similar with the same photo, same text on that image, right? Make them unique, feature different photos, feature different text. Again, remember, Pinterest is searchable, like the images, it's search, it's all search. So if you are putting the same dang keywords on your image, you're going to reach the same dang audience. This whole point of this training right now is to teach you guys that you can do other words for the same thing, product, service, piece of content, doesn't matter, right? And if you are like, okay, I don't have a ton of different images. I don't have a ton of different products, whatever it is, right? You can do a lot with a little. Play with white space, play with um, color blocking, play with different layout titles, moving text, like just play around and have fun with it, right? Because that is what's going to help you here. Now, I do want to give one caveat to all of this that we've been talking about today is when you pin these, timing is everything, right? So you do not want to take three images that have different titles and different images but lead to the same piece of content and pin them all within three days. You need to give yourself some time so you don't look like you're trying to spam and cheat the system, right? This is just ways to reach different people. This isn't ways to cheat the system and try to bring in all the traffic. So do it from the heart. Don't do it in terms of trying to just cheat. If cheating worked, everybody would be doing it. I just want you guys to think about that. And then the next thing I want you guys to think about is once you do that, check your metrics, see what's going on, see what's working, see what's not working, change things out, test, 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 right? If you have questions on getting more from your content, right? Is this a piece of content, Laura, that's still relevant? Can I get more traffic and eyeballs to it? Would 
this audience respond better to this piece of content or maybe should I rewrite it in a new piece of content, right? Go ahead and throw those questions below because I would love to be able to help you in creating new ideas for existing content so that you can be found in new searches and be able to not show up as like a repetitive person saying the same thing over and over and over again, not only on Pinterest, but in all your marketing, right? If that is something you want help with, go ahead and put your comments below. Let's workshop through some of these things. All right, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. While it was actually semi-quiet in my house, I'm super excited to talk to you guys all later. Thank you.